Hello everyone, this is Randy here again. Another episode of Farming Simulator 2013. Playing on the Westbridge Hills map from the Titanium DLC. Getting our uh, crops harvested here. We got wheat going here and barley going on the other field. That's up over the hill there. And while they're doing that... We got just a little bit more grass to pick up here. And both combines are about full. About full, they are full. Also, I'd like to say a big welcome to all my new subscribers. I noticed I picked up quite a few here in the last couple weeks, so. Big welcome to all you guys and gals. Ah, good. He's taking care of that one. I was going to say, where was he? But yeah, we got uh, course play. Unloading the class combine over there, and I'm manually unloading this guy here. Definitely liking the look of these wangas on our farm. Definitely giving it, I think, an American feel, more so than the tippers. Also, hopefully we'll look at selling make some more grass just grew here. Anyway, like, hopefully we'll look at uh, selling some of our crops here and then we'll uh, purchase another tractor. We've got one in mind. I've got a brand in mind. Let me put it that way. I'm not 100% sure which one in the brand I want to get yet, but... You guys can probably guess which one I'm going for. I think I may have showed it or mentioned it before, so. Alright, we're gonna get quite a bit of grass here. I already unloaded one load last episode. And we are almost half full here with another, well, probably over half full here once we finish this. So, a load and a half, that's not too bad. Also, hope everyone's having a good holiday so far. Having themselves a good Christmas. Hope you get everything you want. Well, let me rephrase it. Hope you don't get everything you want, but hopefully you at least get something you want. If you get everything you want, that's that's probably a little too much stuff. But Turn my info back on here so I can see how much I got in here. 25%. Excelente.
Yeah, no, we're definitely having a white Christmas where I live. Got, ooh, probably a good six inches of snow or so again, so. Between the ice, the snow, and the ice, it's yeehaw. I know it's been uh, fun at work. We got uh, trailers sitting in the dock, and they're just sitting on pure ice, so drive onto him with a high load, Pew. and away the trailer goes from the dock. And we'll uh, take this tractor here, we're going to go right over our bunker with this. I figure this should uh, give us plenty of compacting weight. I believe this tractor itself, plus the wang, is quite heavy, so... Not accepting here. Well, I, uh, I kind of knew that. percent, so it should be more than enough to blanket this solid. I think it's, I like to say it's 14% you gotta have to blanket it, so. Looks like about two more passes should do it here if you don't run into the light, light pole. Lamp pole, light pole, lamp post, whatever. Light lamp, post, pole. And blanket. combine before he needs unloading again. Yeah. Don't think we're gonna make it there that quick, but and that mixing station is definitely gonna need a silage, so every time I start the game here I get a message up top that tells you what it needs or what it doesn't need. And last day three times I'd like to say it's been telling me I need silage. Yeah, yeah, we're working on it, so. Well, you know what? Yeah. Well, like I said, we got a prop. I'm going to go sell some prop, but I don't have a wagon to sell it or do it. I think I do. Looks like he's done over there, so. Once we're uh, done unloading here, we'll go empty this at the uh, silos. And I'm thinking we're going to use this money to try to get into some uh, corn. Buy a planter and a corn head for our combine there. And then I definitely want to look at picking up another field after that, I'm thinking. Probably go with the, uh, this one right here. Number, is it 11? Number 11, yep.
That case is filling up quick here with that wheat. Ow. Okay, we'll uh, take care of this guy here. Got a little bit in him, yep. We'll uh, go unload this guy and then empty that, uh, well actually we'll fill that tipper up and we're gonna sell the barley first, I believe. We'll wait to sell the wheat till it's all done. Otherwise you sell a little bit of wheat, the price drops, and then when you go to sell the rest of it, uh, yeah, you pretty much sell it all at a lower price. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. Really sucks. Stop. This combine does not like to stop. Once we uh, pick up our new piece of equipment here, we'll uh, start. Well, we're debating here whether I want to pick up that straw or not. Uh, if I do, I'll probably do it off screen. That's what I'm thinking I'll do here. We'll probably do that off screen. Okay, and where are we going to be going with this? Barley. Flower mill, 529. Yeah, it looks like the flower mill at 529. And I guess we better unload this guy too while we're at it. I have a course for doing this at one time. Apparently I must
lost on the save. Oh well. How much farther do we actually have here? I forgot to even look at that. Uh, about like 54,000 plus the 25,000 we had here, so roughly 76,000. That's not too bad, only three trips. For some reason, this looks like the train station. And I'm pretty sure, according to the map that comes with this uh, game, that this is the flour mill, so... Yeah, I got the uh, map right in front of me down here. That is indeed the flower mill, even though it looks like the train station. Is there actually even a train station listed here? Diner, flower mill, restaurant, train, ah, train station. station on this, so I wonder if that actually is the train station, in which case where's the flour mill? Ah, interesting. Oh, we better empty that combine as well. Keep uh, forgetting about him over here. Probably actually get the other combine going on this, but yeah, we've got half, maybe half left. And not even half left, looks like. Okay, good. Probably be lined up a little better, looks like. Let me uh, try that again. Probably actually just leave him there. Don't think he'll uh, make it back that far, so. Oh. What was that?
kind of wonder if this uh, map is actually correct. It says the flour mill is here, but I wonder if this is actually the train station. Or at least that's modeled like a train station, let's put it that way at least. That should be after this next load should give us enough money to purchase what I would like to uh, get. Also, I'd like to mention about my channel. I've uh, got a couple of requests to keep playing Agriculture Simulator 2013. You guys must be nuts. Uh, not really, no. It is, uh, it is a pretty cool game, so... Actually, I may uh, end up doing that, so stay tuned in the next couple of days, few days or so, maybe. I uh, may be putting up a video or two more about that. As well as I'll keep playing, uh, you know, professional farmer as well. So, I was actually gonna do uh, professional farmer today, but then it's like, eh, I felt like playing farming sim. So, and yeah, we're playing farming sim. Uh, of course, way on the opposite end of the field. That figures. No win. We're gonna need to uh, empty this guy as well. Well, let me uh, do course play. I want to actually see how these wings work with that. Actually, I'm going to have to do the oh, field 15 auto. Let's try that. Actually, you know, I loaded two courses. So now i got to reset them. Always make sure you reset a course before you unlo uh, load another one. Otherwise, some uh, weird things can happen. We'll uh, stay with this guy and just see what's what happens. He's got two wagons, so not sure how that's gonna work with uh, both these wagons like that. Make the assumption you'll unload it just fine, because I think you'll detect both tip triggers. I'm assuming. But I'm not sure how it's gonna detect both load. I believe the front one is completely full here, so... Oh, perfect. I think. We'll find out here. I was, uh, you know, slightly concerned about that when I got these, you know, is this going to work a course play because it's got two. If this works okay, I'll definitely be picking up a couple more of these wagons. And then hopefully at some point we'll pick up a trailer truck to a haul our track. Traffic. Nothing there. That's I'm not sure what's up with that there. I 
Yeah, hopefully we'll pick up a truck and a tractor. Truck and track. Truck and trailer. And we'll use that for unloading our silos and selling the crops. What, what is he actually doing here? Assuming he's going to unload. That'll be the next question, will he unload properly? Should also be the last load of barley here. Double check that. Yep. That was a little bit left in there, but I don't usually bother with that. Unless it's a full load. Definitely not a whole lot of money off that deal. That was, uh. That don't seem like a whole lot at all. As we started out with 20,000, I believe. Boy, I might have to go back and look at the beginning of the video. I'm not sure how much we started with. Doesn't seem like a real good yield to me, but oh well. Definitely got a lot of wheat, so we should make a little bit of money off that. Yeah, 186,000, and we're good half done, so... We're probably making easy 150,000 off that, maybe? That's what I'm thinking. I'm predicting somewhere in that range. Hopefully that'll be enough to get us a corn planter. And a corn header. Okay, time to do a little purchasing. And we have 58,000. Just double check to see what's kind of in our price range as well here. I'm not sure why these are in here. Hardly a tractor, but. Ah, yes, the internationals. That's what we're looking at. 1586, 1486. 161 horsepower. That looks like the best one to me. I know it's only... These are four-wheel drive here, but... Definitely looking more for the horsepower, I think. And let's see. Got some double, yeah, double wheels here. I'm assuming these work with all of the internationals, so we'll buy that, and we'll buy a set of double wheels, just because I think double wheels look good on these uh, two-wheel drive tractors. Yeah, it's a nice looking tractor. Not real highly detailed, but definitely looks good. Ooh, I like the gauges on this one too.
definitely something uh that guy need a loading that doesn't need a loading either. Actually we are course by doing it, so we don't need to unload it. Right. Okay. Speaking of loading, let me check for a minute. Yes, he did unload both trailers. It do that maybe he didn't load. Hmm. It's interesting. Let's say he loaded both trailers, but maybe he didn't. I think he unloaded both of them, and I think what happened, he filled up again, and he filled up the back one, so... That may not work yet. I'll we'll have to uh, check that to make sure he fills up the front one as well. Let's see, where are we going to put this? We'll uh, park more by the chickens here, I guess. Figuring what it takes to assemble them. Actually, I actually haven't used the twin wheels on these yet, so I'm not sure what it. Uh... I'm going to make the assumption we just drive up to it on one of the sides here, and it'll tell us what to do. Assemble twin wheels. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I have used this tractor. I'm pretty sure this is the one I used before to pull this disc, so that's what I'm uh, going for with this tractor here. Definitely a quick little tractor, that's for sure. Now here's the test. Can we actually pull it up this hill? Because I believe this is where the Ford failed. Ah, we're losing speed. Yeah, we made it though. And we'll hold off on uh, cultivating this yet. I'm gonna probably off screen, I'll pick up at least some of that straw. And why is this guy in traffic? I'm thinking he's detecting something, he's weighing and something getting in his way or something. Hmm. That is weird. I think I'll uh, call it an episode here. Uh, between episodes here, I'll pick up some of this straw. Hope everyone has a happy holidays, and uh, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. Till next time.